know you're smart, sir, and, and I know that you also, though, you don't dumb your message down, but you keep it at a mid-level so the general public and the establishment as well can get it. But let's get down to brass tacks. Okay. I routinely talk to the top generals, special forces, mm -hmm. uh, Pentagon currently, uh, out of the Pentagon, CIA, as I know you do, and we'll just leave it at that. Um, there are a lot of people in this government and also retired who don't want to destroy the country. They really know that we've reached the crossroads where the country's done as a third world nation within a few more years. Forget Donald right. Trump in four years. If this happens, we're done. I mean, we're talking about resurrecting the dead here. We could turn it around right now. As you've said properly, you're, you're dead on, sir. You're right. We could turn it around. All the actuaries, all the numbers show it. But it's got to happen in the next few years or we're done. Right. And right. there are globalists that want to have a world government, a system run by select crony capitalists using socialism at the grassroots to make people dependent. And I've talked to not just high-level folks that have been in government that are on your team, but separately high-level people in government currently that say there's an internal war going on and that you're a manifestation of that. I don't want to get anything inside baseball with you, but I already know yeah. the inside baseball. I know now from top people that you actually are for real and you understand you're in danger and you understand what you're doing is epic. It's George Washington level. And you understand that office. So I want to tell you right now, can you speak about the war for the soul of this country that's happening right now and really tell people what's happening and commit to people that you won't Ross Perot under death threats and step down when you're in the lead uh, two months from the election? Okay, so let me just tell you, Alex, as you know, I'm leading in every poll nationally in every poll state. I'm leading in Iowa, New Hampshire, South Carolina, the SEC, Texas. I'm leading in Texas which I love. I love Texas. You know, we were there. Mark Cuban called up. He said, do you want to use the arena? I used it. We filled it up in three or four days, 20,000 people. In Mobile, Alabama, we had 35,000 people. We had 20,000 in Oklahoma. I'm so into this. And I'm not into it. For, you know, I could do other things that I would enjoy doing, to be honest with no, you. No, you're it's doing not, a dangerous mission. We understand that. It's not an easy thing. But the key is make America great again. We can make America great again. But if you have to suffer through four more or eight more years of what's gone on in the past and, and you know, what's going, it's just, we're being eaten away. It's just, eat. it's eating away at our country. And we can make, in my opinion, we can make America greater than ever before. But we have to get going. It has to happen. We have to get going. And, you know, when you look at the vision, I said, Iraq, you agreed with me on Iraq. I said, hit the oil. I said a lot of things that turned out to be true, 100% true. And I'm giving credit. I'm giving credit by some people. Some people refuse to acknowledge it. You know, they refuse to say. No, you've been, you've been, you've been absolutely on target. So what I'm asking is, though, can you speak to the crossroads we're at right now, though? Because you've talked about it. Are we at a crossroads to decide whether this country's done or whether we go to the next level? Well, I think this, I think that, sadly, I think that if we don't get it right this time, I think this is going to be the most important election our country's ever had. I mean, you'd have to say George Washington was, is right there. You know, the couple of pretty important elections, right? But this is certainly in the last, in the modern era, this is the most important election, election our country's ever had. If we don't get it right, if we put another one of these people in, like Hillary, I mean, she, she's so corrupt. She is so corrupt, and she shouldn't even be allowed to run. And frankly, her greatest legacy, she was a horrible secretary of state. If, she's, if she runs, I think her greatest legacy will be that she got out of the email scandal. That's what I think. It'll be one of the greatest jobs I've ever seen of getting out of a scandal. Because General Petraeus and many others, I mean, their lives have been destroyed for doing 5% of what she did. That's right. So she shouldn't be allowed to run. But, you know, the recent Fox poll that just came down two days ago has me beating her head to head, which is very interesting and very good and beating her soundly head to head. But we have to get it right. Our country can be absolutely, we can turn it around. But I would agree with you, if we don't get it right this time, I'm not sure if you go another four or eight years with the insanity and the stupidity of these leaders, I'm not sure you're going to be able to turn it around anymore. I think it could be All over. Right. Donald Trump, the man in the arena.